Welcome YouTube to the beginning of a brand new Angel Legion series. We are going to be starting on server 43, the brand new Android server which just opened today. You two are welcome to join us on iOS and on Steam as well. This game is totally free to play, free to download, and might be a fun change from our usual Idle Heroes content. Let's tap to approach Maya. So this is the hero that everybody has to use our first hero and first character. And I'm in the way of all the text. That's a little inconvenient. I'm gonna put myself there for the time being. Oh, look, I'm me. Look, I've, I've got a body. Everybody has to use Meyer on their team, which is a nice, unique difference from this game to other games you may have played that are idle uh, mechanic-based games, which is nice. And it means that you're kind of forced to choose a team that revolves around this hero, which is actually quite fun, uh, being forced to go around this. Also, full customization on your character menu, which is really neat. So we can go ahead and adjust what she looks like, however you want, right? I'm just going to stick with the base character for now, although I will change our eyes because these ones always kind of creep me out. They're a little, a little creepy. So if you want to change what they look like, you can go and... Um, first of all, you can change your outfit. Uh, oh, there's the eyes. That's what I wanted. So I can change her eyebrows. But no, I'm going to change her right and left eye just to something a little more subtle that looks a little more realistic. Um, obviously, it's still purple, but um, yeah, that looks fine. I'll, uh, I'll stick with that. I will adjust her later if I want to. So the first thing we need to do, let's go and begin our training. Here we are. Right. So we need to enter the adventure mode. And you might notice if you guys have played this game before, um, lots has changed. So the map is now a different color. There's also a little wheel that you can move around to control your ship. And what's also good about this is if you're playing on an emulator, you should be able to control it with WASD, which um, is super handy. Also, there's no more fuel in the game, which means you don't have to worry about the stupid fuel. So if you're bored, you can just go around and fly a little ship around the map, which is good fun. Anyway, before we go ahead and attack any maps, the first thing I actually want to do is just enter and crack on with the first campaign mission. So let's get this going. So let's enter combat. And like in Idle Heroes, you have six slots where you can put your characters. So we're going to enter in, drop our folks in. And it says I'm late. Okay, we're going to begin our combat training. Skip. Let's just move across, go in the center and begin the fight. So, okay, I got attacked and it's in auto mode right now. Um, if you want to, you can actually change to manual mode and control whether you do active skills or basic attacks. But right now, I don't think we need to. I will change to three times speed, though, so it's nice and quick. And yeah, you can get that totally for free. Doesn't cost anything to have three times speed. You just have to click the button, which will be in the top left hand corner. And there we go. This is much quicker. And yeah, it's just like early idle heroes, right? You have to fight the early campaign modes. And I... I can't skip the battle, right? That will withdraw. That's quitting. Let's go on to our next fight. This will be an elite fight here against an elite opponent. We should be able to win this, I hope. I mean, they're all level four. We're level one. Oh, man, we're so weak. Get to a point where I can level up my heroes, please. That'd be great. There we go. Getting the kill. And that's a win. Nice. So we've leveled up. We're now level three. And here we go. Let's skip our things. Let's head back. And... It wants us... What are we going to do? Oh, right. We got a new hero. So we're going to get our first hero that can accompany our team. So if we go to our heroes, you'll be able to summon us. So when it comes to summoning heroes, there is no bag. There is no bag space. Instead, every single hero, you just have a number that counts the number of copies you have. So this is an A tier hero called Powerful Mage, also known as Haiti. I believe that's her name. Uh, oh, Hilti. Sorry. And... Um, she is going to be a character that you get right at the beginning. Everybody gets her. She's not that great. Um, she's probably one of the weaker A tiers in the game. It's one of those pity heroes they give you right at the beginning, and it's like, ah, this is great. Wink, wink. It's actually terrible. But, you know, sometimes you just got to take what you get. And we're going to drop her in the team and fight. All right, let's crack on. There we go, that's a decent hit. Should be able to beat these. Yep, nice. So now we have the independence to go make some independent decisions about how to make our team more powerful. So the first thing I absolutely want to do is not use Powerful Mage. 
I think she's kind of rubbish. Instead, I'm going to go over to my goals. So we're going to go and take a look at what we've got. A lot of the daily missions and weekly missions you won't have unlocked because it's it's one of these games that you don't unlock the things until you have a way of doing them. And this particular area here, I need to be level 45 to unlock everything. But I am going to try and level up as fast as we can so we can unlock all of this stuff. In addition, you'll notice there's a guidance menu here which tells you what to do in day one. And this will get you further rewards as well. So this is what we're going to try and do. So I need friends. I need to do recruits. I need to clear the first 10 stages of campaign and all the other various things that you see listed here. So we're going to try and get that completed today as well. And throughout the entire week, I'll try and do all of the goals that go across the seven days. Also, as you progress this, you'll get yourself additional hero copies, some gems, and you'll get a copy of Justice Knight when you get to the end. She's not a very good hero, but she's usable early on. And another goal we want to aim towards is getting enough heroes to unlock a god, but I need to do chapter one in campaign to do that. So I think we're going to have to go and actually do something which the game probably isn't going to tell us to do, but I think you totally should. So if you're watching, join me in moving your ship around and actually fighting campaign. So we're going to go ahead and beat a lot of these enemies. So we're going to go put our mysterious girl here. Powerful mage is going to drop in there. I'm also going to skip. Oh, I have. To okay. You unlock skip battle after beating chapter one. That's good, at least, because having to go ahead and watch every single fight would be absolutely maddening. But, you know, we can we can go through. So let's go ahead and get this beaten. There's an enemy here as well, which we can totally fight and make our way through the entire map. One big mistake people make is just beating through the chapter mode and not clearing the map. And it's a mistake because every time you clear the map, you get rewards. And the rewards you get for doing that will advance your account and give you items that are otherwise exclusive to people who spend money. So if you want to get your account leveled up as a free-to-play player, you need to totally make sure you're clearing the map whenever you can. And the map also resets when you move on to a new chapter in campaign. So that's why you want to clear the map, beat a chapter in campaign, then clear the map again before you beat that chapter. So I always recommend if you get to the final level on a chapter, which is usually level 10, before you advance the chapter, make sure you click progress and have completed this entire bar of quests right here. So I need to find another space warlord and I need to find another space pirate. So let's go through here, claim all our rewards and see where we're up to so this is all coming through i need to beat another warlord and it said a pirate right so we'll get all this in first and that's going to take us to these beaten so i'm going to get chests and i'm going to get diamonds we get chests and diamonds chests and diamonds and the big thing here is advanced recruit devices and diamonds and the final thing is going to give us titanium and titanium is used to upgrade your ship and this is the only way to obtain titanium in the game. So you should totally be doing this. So let's back out. Where is the warlord? <laughs> also, what is this guy selling? That's uh, not worth it. I'm not buying that. But where's the warlord? Oh, he's over here. I see. Right, let's give him a scrap. And I need to find another pirate. So here we go. Is Magic Arrow good? Yo, she's brilliant. She is arguably one of the best heroes in the game because she's able to feed energy to other heroes. And she'll feed energy to someone who's in front of her in the lineup. So, yes, Magic Arrow is super great. And if you manage to pull a copy of her, just that's very lucky early game. Also, one of the gods, which we'll take a look at when you get to Chapter 2, requires a Silver Star magic arrow to unlock so actually by having that magic arrow copy in your arsenal you should be able to grab another one with war spirit and just straight up get that god unlocked which is going to really help you so yeah and for everyone asking about heroes if you get an s tier hero just go ahead and level them up try them out and use them on your team because you get no punishment for using a hero on your account if you don't like them you can dismiss them and get your resources back and even if you don't like them sometimes they're the best you have so you have to use them and here we go here's our final pirate so this is going to advance our mission so let's get this person beaten and then we can go ahead and basically get some titanium and complete the chapter which is the most important thing i want to do here because we'll be able to advance the campaign a little bit more let's claim our rewards that's going to advance the top bar so just like in star expedition in idle heroes and there you go we have completed that. So you'll notice now the map is completely empty. There is no way I can advance the progress anymore. And when the map is full, if you complete the entire map, it will advance the entire progress bar. So that's good. Right, let's head back to the main base and carry on with the campaign. So we have hopefully a fight we can win now because I did make Maya level 
nine. And oh, she's using the sniper. That's actually not that bad. This should be a good way of killing those heroes. Pretty confident we're going to one shot people. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. So we've leveled up. We're now level four. And ah, I can now have three heroes on my team. That is good. And the combat indeed was tough. So let's get another hero. So we're going to back out. And it's going to tell us to do some summons. So we're going to head to the recruit menu. And we've got a free summon. And everybody gets the same first hero. This is a gentle healer. Gentle healer is a phenomenal healer early on. Because any A tier healer is good for an account. So if you find yourself with an A tier healer, like Gentle Healer or Priest, or even I think there's one called Healing Expert, running two of them on your team upgraded is actually pretty good until you get to a point where you can replace them with an S tier healer, which you won't get until a little later on. But early on, Gentle Healer is a good grab, so I'm happy with that. So let's go fight with these three now, and you'll notice as I take damage on my heroes, Gentle Healer is going to heal them back up. There you go. Which means my team has a ton more survivability. Which means I, I should be able to just coast through this and not die, which will be nice. Okay, we're going to head to the cabin now. And the titanium we managed to get earlier, we can use to improve the cabin itself. So we're going to get our production cabin unlocked. We're going to unlock the bio cabin, the storage cabin, the collector 2 and collector 3. So 1, 2 and 3 are here. And that is our master cabin improved. And it says, let's continue our training. But before we do, I was going to go to the bio cabin, but no, the game's forcing me to go into the quest. That's totally fine. We'll just carry on with this. And the bio cabin allows you to get hero copies as well. So we should go and see what we can make there. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just destroy these opponents. It's going to show us how combo heroes work now, which is excellent. So this is the final stage. So we're going to go and give them a little bit of a fight against Hell Scythe. And by using Justice Knight, we'll get to see what combos do. So when Justice Knight does an active skill, whilst you have the corresponding hero, which in this case is Scythe Maya, the two of them can combine together to do a very powerful active skill. As you see here, destroying that opponent at the back and weakening Hell Scythe's defenses. So we should be able to take her down. Right, a little bit of healing coming in there. Ooh, worried about our health bar. It's very low. Good damage there. Two are dead. Health Scythe's enraged. Gentle healer healing us up. Justice Knight hopefully getting the finishing blow. Nope. We got it with the mage. Nice. So there we go. We've beaten Hell Scythe. That's the first stage of campaign beaten. And we have a ton of rewards. So we have 10 summons. We got some armor. We got some energy canisters and various rewards and items there that we can use as well. And as you can see, we have unlocked a new map. So here we go. We head in through the portal. And we have a new map. So I'm not going to ruin the campaign view. I'm going to skip all that stuff so that you can read through it in your own time. I've already played through it, so I'm not going to ruin it for you. But it's a pretty fun campaign with some plot twists, which is neat. And looking through here, you can see the map is totally refreshed. So I need to go beat all of these before I advance the chapter. It's also good the moment you unlock a stage to go through and fight everything because you refresh things on the map over time. If you haven't beaten anything, it won't be able to refresh anything. So it's always good to go ahead and fight whenever you have an opportunity to. So I will go ahead and do that. And we should be able to skip battle now, which is going to be really helpful for getting through these. And yep, I absolutely can. So that's going to be really handy. I will need to add another hero to our list. And I also have 10 recruits to do. So I'm going to go ahead and blast these out and hopefully get something good. Did I get an ST hero? Ooh, Storm Witch. Okay. Yes. That is actually a pretty interesting hero. She can do multiple basic attacks. So I will absolutely take that. Welcome to the team, Storm Witch. Nicely done. Let's claim some rewards for doing our recruits. We got our weekly missions, so that gets me another advanced recruit device. I also can claim my achievements and rewards here. And yeah, pretty pleased with that one. So also the journey, I can go ahead and claim some rewards. So we get this for doing stuff in adventures. That's three more advanced recruit devices and guidance. What are you going to get me here? Just various things. I need to add some friends. So let's get some friends. Hopefully I can do friends here. If I go to friends. Oh, I need to get the account to level 10 before I can do that. Okay, let's go to the cabin. The biological cabin is letting me upgrade in the origin can I, can I do this? Oh, okay. I need three level 10 heroes to be able to do B tier. And I need, mm, 
five level 60 heroes. That's a pain. So I'm going to try and upgrade our heroes to level 10 before I do anything. Because C tiers are pretty much useless. So let's go to Mysterious Girl. Get her to level 10. I'm going to do the same with Gentle Healer. Let's get her to level 10. There we go. And who else can we go ahead and use? Because we did summon a bunch of people. Yeah, we did. So Storm Witch, I'm going to get to level 10 as well. There we go. Upgrade her. And do I want to use Powerful Mage? I don't think so. I'd rather find another healer if I can. I know the Powerful Blade can stun if my memory is correct. I'm going to just check her skills. Front and stun. Yes. So I'm going to, I'm going to add her. She's a stun hero you can get on the team. So now that I've got everyone to level 10 as well, I can now go into the cabin, into the bio cabin. And what do you want me to do? Transform? Oh, it's telling me I can get rid of my Cs and Bs. I'm actually not going to do that though. I'm going to keep them around, but I will develop a B tier canister. That'll be done in an hour and I can use that to upgrade heroes if I wanted. So we've managed to clear everything on the map, which should progress us across, which is really helpful. And we managed to get some additional advanced recruit devices. So we're going to do another 10 bomb. And we noticed earlier that there's currently a pretty interesting event on where we get rewards if we get 300 summons. So that's one goal we can try and aim for this week is to try and do 300 summons. We'll see how much we can do day one, though. That's our current plan just to see how far we can get today. So, yeah, logging in is going to get us rewards. We got ourselves a copy of Executioner. We got ourselves as well advanced recruit devices and some various resources for logging in. The big things here, though, are the Executioner copy and the advanced recruit devices, which is super good. There's these packages here you can purchase if you want to. This one draws my attention because it gives us 10 advanced recruit devices for 10 bucks, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it doesn't just do that, though. It does give you uh, a, a nice stack of gems and as well some resources. So that piques my interest. I might want to grab that for a quick early boost. This one, though, gives 60 for 50 bucks. So it's arguably better to probably buy that one. And this one gives some really exclusive armor for Maya, um, which if you want to go ahead and collect the fashion skins, that's something kind of cool you can go for. And in addition, it gets you a copy of Valkyrie, which can then be used with the additional copy that you can get from the Hero's Call for doing 300 summons. So there may be an option to do a combination there if you wanted to go ahead and buy that too. Obviously, though, $100 is a lot of money, and really it just depends on where your price point is as an individual. We'll figure out what we're going to spend on this account in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and crack on with our missions and do these 10 summons we have in the recruit menu. So let's see what we end up with. Oh, I didn't get an S tier. That's a shame. Did I get any healers? I got two vivid gunners, a powerful mage. I got three vivid gunners. Okay. Okay. Fair play. And I always try to do my summons in batches of 10 because you're guaranteed more A tiers if you do it like that. So always try to summon in batches of 10 if you can. Also... Let's go to adventure mode and let's crack on with the campaign because I've managed to clear the map. Yes, good. So yeah, as you can see, fully progressed. Let's head in and do the first few stages of this planet. All right, so we managed to progress everything here in this campaign stage and I'm already feeling pretty good about where we're at. I wonder if we can upgrade anything in the master cabin. Oh, it's so close. I'm at 1,900, which means I'm super close to master cabin level two. Ooh. That's fun. And let's look at our target goals here. So our achievements are coming in. That's all fine. I need to send an explorer away. I need copper star heroes for this. So to get this cracking, we're going to start with Stormwitch. Let's evolve you up. We're going to stick some B tiers in here. Let's get you to copper star two. I'm going to go with because I have, I have B tiers. I have a ton of B tiers to use as food. So we're just going to drop these guys in there like that. And that is... Storm Witch upgraded to Copper Star 2. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing now with Gentle Healer, because I'm definitely going to keep her on the team. Because healing is important. 100%. So bring that in. And yeah, seems good. So if I go to our botting again, we can still claim all loot, which is nice. Go to Explore and drop these folks in. Oh, I can't use Maya. Now that is irritating. So I'm going to need to go ahead and get some more B tiers. Now the best place I can get B tiers, I can get them from friend summons. So thank you to everyone that was sending those friend summons through. There's another B tier. Nice. And then, yeah, there we go. So that's two in there, which is great. And I'm going to use those on one more hero to upgrade. Let's go with Powerful Blade. So we'll go to Evolve. 
put in two heroes. And that is going to be one star copper. Perfect. So, by heading now to the bossing menu, going to explore, I can begin this quest. Perfect. And I could have quick deployed that, but there we go. So what are the other missions I need to do? Claim resources in the storeroom. I need to wait eight hours to be able to claim that. So that is what it is. Good. Okay, let's get back into campaign then. Now that we've done all that, here we go. Now we are taking a lot of damage here, so we could have hit our first campaign roadblock. If you look at this, these enemies are level 24 and they're about to kill our entire team. Oh no. So now we need to actually start thinking, is there anything we can do here to progress? Or are we at a wall? Because if we're at a wall, that's when we need to start bringing out the wallet or admitting defeat. But I think there are ways to enhance our team. We can definitely level people up and we definitely have some summons to do. So we have one S hero, which is Stormwitch, which is a little annoying. I would rather have more, but I'm actually think I'm going to just go hard on Stormwitch and just level her as high as I can. Now, it depends on how many triangle crystals I have as to whether this is a good idea. Oh, I've got like 700. Yeah, I'm definitely going to level her up as high as I can. If I can get her to 60, that's going to be brilliant. Oh, dude, there she is. Level 60. That's super handy. And who else should I level up at this point? Gentle Healer? Might be a good shout. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I've ran out of force. Okay, do I have any in storage? I do, actually. I have force and I have gold. So we're going to pull these out. Mm, no, actually, that doesn't even give me that much. No, I'm saving these for when I have much better bonuses to get from there. So for now, then, I'm just going to take that as we have it and see if our Storm Witch, now that she's a significantly higher level, see if she can beat the opponent for us. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch up by putting Katana Maya behind Storm Witch to give Storm Witch a much better bonus and hope that this is going to win me fights. So wish us the best of luck. I hope this works out. Here we go. Are the triangles like promotion stones? Yeah, pretty much. That's one way you can look at it. Right, let's see what Stormwitch's active skills do now. When it comes back around to her. Here we go. It's probably going to one-shot. Yep. Nice. Okay, now it's just Stormwitch on the front line. So Stormwitch is going to actually tank for us. Also, considering she's level 60, that should be actually really fine. Oh, nice. Comboing her basic into herself is good. Oh, Stormwitch is still a bit squishy, though. Her health is low, but there's Gentle Healer with the heal. Nice. Good save. There's the combo. Oh, Stormwitch is dead. That's a problem. Hmm. Now, we cannot win this with a healer alone. So I think Gentle Healer is just totally dead. Yeah. Okay, those opponents still got the best of us. So we need more heroes to be leveled up if we're going to beat them. That's a little annoying. So our Explore rewards are in, which is going to get us some rewards. It's also going to get us bonuses from our daily missions. And I think on the journey, is that going to get us anything? No. Okay, first recharge. That's going to get me a copy of Hellsight. That might be the difference between us winning and losing here. If we spend a bit of money, that'll come in. But what do we buy? I need to buy my privilege cards, right? I think we get those. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is inject what we need for privilege cards into this account. So privilege cards are going to cost us 98 and 30. So I need 128 recharge currency. So I'm probably best just getting a, a $30 one. And I could probably buy some other stuff as well. What does the hunter pack get us? Because I know that's something as well that I can go ahead and pick up. Um, where is the, the hunter reward? So if I go to target hunter certificate. To buy this Hunter Certificate ID is 68. So yeah, actually buying 198 of them is not a terrible idea. So I'm, I'm going to do that. We're going to do that. It's going to get some heroes for us. That's all. That's the best thing I can do. So two Privilege Cards and the Hunter Package. That's a good start. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this $30 package. I'll see you in a second. So what I'm basically buying at this point is now all my monthly cards. So 
basically all the stuff that refreshes every month. Just getting that purchased on day one is going to obviously give us rewards. And it's also going to give me VIP progress. So it's what's called the rebate. Um, by going ahead and getting all our rebate tiers, we're going to get some rewards. So I've just instantly become VIP three or rebate level three for doing that. So I'm going to claim my rewards. That's rebate package one. We get our rewards for rebate package two. And then we also get our rewards for rebate package three. So that all comes in. That's a ton of titanium. Now, titanium, super important. Because if I go to the cabin, because of all that titanium that's come through from our VIP rewards, we can now upgrade our cabin to a higher level. So it's now level two. Let's get it to level three. Uh, can we take it to level four? No, I can't. But I now have a level three cabin, which is great. So I'm going to upgrade the production cabin up some levels so it produces better things. And I'm going to do the same with the bio cabin as well. So let's get you upgraded. And that should be very helpful. And the storage cabin. Get that to level three. There we go. Now, I can't take it higher because you can never go higher than your master cabin's level. But now, I, you can see, I can bring in more things as well, which is pretty helpful. So, I'm going to get ourselves another bee shard getting in here. And for the breeding, we... I would love to go ahead and breed S genomes. That's the best thing you can go for. I don't think it's worth breeding A tiers. I think it's a waste of gold. Nah, I'm going to leave it. All right. I'm going to focus on something else then, which is going to be claiming our first recharge rewards. That gets me... Jocasta, otherwise known as Hellsythe. Welcome to the team. So, with that in and that armor equipped, we should have a nice, powerful team. And also, do I have some advanced recruit devices I can use? No, I don't. But I haven't claimed anything yet, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is purchase, using those coupons we grabbed, the recharge rewards. So let's go get our privilege cards. So I'm going to buy privilege card one. And privilege card two. There you go. Those two things are purchased. That leaves me with 80, which is enough to go buy the hunter card. So if I go to the target, I go to hunter certificate. I'm going to grab this as well. And that's got things started. So this is this is good. This will be available in 20 minutes. So when server resets, I have my hunter ID card. And we can start cracking on with this, which is going to be great. So I currently have 410 points ready to instantly go with, which is going to be super useful for getting these rewards in here. But I won't be able to use any of that until 20 minutes time. So instead, we're just going to have to go with what we have. So Heroes, Hellsythe, let's level her up to as high a level as we can get because she is going to be an absolute beast of a hero for us. If I can get it to level 60, this is going to be fantastic. Oh, wow, I need some more triangle crystals. Do I have any in the storage? If I do, that's going to be so clutch. No, okay, I'm just going to take that. I do have some V-Hero shards, which I'll pull out. Nice one. And I'm going to go ahead and put them straight into Hellside. So let's go to Evolve. Let's drop these in. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to get ourselves a... Ooh, look at that. Three-star Hellside. I think I'm going to keep going with her. She is so potent that I don't think of a reason to not do this so that's four star and then i need two more which i have this is going to be a five star hell scythe nice so to take her higher i'm going to need another copy but right now that's actually fantastic so she's going to be really powerful for us i'm also going to give her this full set of wait 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 do i have a full set of nightingale oh i do oh wow she's taking it let's go full set of nightingale armor on her that's brilliant and then I'm going to go with a full set of um, blue armor on the Storm Witch. So let's get that in. Heck yeah. So now we have two full perfect sets of armor. Great news. And this should be really good. So I'm going to remove Steady Archer. Replace it with Hellsythe, who is now going to be on our front line. Hellsythe's going to go in slot one. She's going to be our main defensive hero. Myra is going to buff her up. Actually, I'm going to put Storm Witch on the end there like this. That way, Mysterious Girl buffs her up. We've got our healer on the end there. Powerful Blade and Shock Blaster are just placeholders until we get better heroes. Let's go fight. So now you'll see... Oh, there she is. Hellsythe doing brilliantly here. And Storm Witch able to finish off. Now this... This feels really good. Okay, the whole front line is dead. There's some healing keeping us alive. 
Oh, yeah. This is way better. Nice kill there. Oh, now we're talking. The team, significantly better. Look at that. Instant win. Congratulations. Victory. Done. Beaten. Pretty sure we won't have a problem with these next few fights. Let's go. There's some gifts. Oh, I see. For reaching level 20, I've got this. And I have two hours to buy it. It's $4.99, which... Hang on, hang on a second. Isn't that just half the price of this package here? Five bucks for 10 advanced recruit devices, but I'm getting nowhere near as many gems. Ooh. Do I get it? I do get to choose my reward. I can either go with A, origin genes, or resources. I'm going to leave this package for now. I don't want to jump at this and um, instantly pick it up. I know it's five bucks. It's cheaper than the other one. So I am thinking about it, but for now, I'm going to leave it. I don't need to go ahead. Uh, it does feel like a good buy, though. But I do need to go ahead and crack on with a new challenge mode we have called the Endless Trial. So Endless Trial is something we featured a while ago on stream when it was added to the game, or at least when it got improved. So the way the Endless Trial works is you move from stage to stage fighting various opponents and you roll. So we have five movements today. So, or at least currently. Okay, nothing happened on this. And oh, we, we have fights that are... Oh, are fights just automatic? Oh, I think they are. So I'll, I'll do my movements for today first. Or maybe I do a fight and then move? Hmm. Because you get rewards as you move. I don't know what's the best strat here. I think fighting might be the best strat. So we go fight first, I think. That's probably the best thing I can do. Now, I do need to fill in this gap with just anyone, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll just skip battle. Get ourselves a victory. Battle victory, okay. We'll do another fight. Let's actually see what these fights are like. Are they fairly easy or are they going to be challenging? Okay, no, it's just um, fairly simple opponents. Nothing too challenging. All right, that's super rudimentary. So, yeah, that's going to level us up. When we get to 10 fights, we win. All right, folks, we've managed to get ourselves a boss fight. So let's see what happens here in the boss fight. Before it shows up, though, I might want to try and improve myself by rolling the dice to get ourselves a more powerful team. Uh, nah, I'm going to fight the boss. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we're facing. Uh, okay, we have... It's Hellsythe. Okay, well, I have my own Hellsythe, so this should be an easy win. And, uh, yeah, so this was the first stage. This was pretty easy. But by blasting through this, we should be able to beat a ton of opponents. And with that done, it's reset the stage. And, yeah, we can carry on against our opponents. So we need to reset the status to the next area. And there we go. We've unlocked ourselves a new area. I got beaten. So this stage is a little interesting. So what I need to do is I need to re-challenge the stage back from the beginning. And now this is where the dice come into play. So I'm now on stage 31. So we're going to go with the first fight. That should be a totally easy win. Yep. I'm going to keep going on through these winning and beating opponents and every time i need to check the health so we've lost powerful blade that's okay though she's not one of our main heroes storm which is weak which is annoying so what i'm going to go ahead and do is roll a dice here move four and here we go we enter the temple now this is going to get us an enhancement these are all iron boosts so it's all physical defense but then the symbol changes our bonus which is further on physical defense so chill iron is probably the best one to go with here and that's improved our divine seal so i'm going to go ahead and spin this again this is going to move me forward two spaces. Oh, I get to the temple again. That's going to give me an even better stat improvement. Real nice. Okay. So we've... Oh, we've already improved the iron one. Why do we have to get iron again? Because I will have to replace this with a different one. That's a little annoying. So if I grab this, it won't let me swap. Right? It won't let me swap. So I have to say no to this. I, um, I would rather keep the attack bonus. So that was a real shame. Everything was iron on that. And, oh no, what have we got? It's an ambush. Oh, we lose 10% of our health. That's really, really irritating. So you can see above me, just up there, are all our heroes and their current health bar. So that is a little irritating. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spin again. 
move forward three, five. Oh, here we go. This is a compulsory fight I have to do. Got to fight this. And that's moved me along as well. Still need to go ahead and try and heal. Oh, no. Another fight. Okay, going to have to fight that then. All right, we'll carry on. Okay. What do we get from this? The arsenal. Oh, that's good. It's going to get me energy canister. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's spin. Another one. From this, I want to grab another energy canister. So in my opinion, deadly rays or energy canisters are the best two you can grab. So that's what I always try to go for. Oh, what? No! Another ambush? Oh, we're going to lose 10% health. Scammed. Really annoying. And we're back to the start. Okay. So everyone gets healed up. Medical treatment is carried out. And that means I can get back on with our fights. That's good. No! Oh, come on. No, resurrection. Let's go. Bring me back. Now I'm going to fight the boss. Here we go. We got it. Oh my word. Okay. That was tight. We've managed to clear that zone. And we're in a new area. Okay, that was difficult. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Until we've made our team more powerful. And people were saying reset just landed. It did indeed, which means we can finally claim our copy of Executioner. And she will automatically summon. We can also claim our diamonds for the day from our summon prizes. Also, it means we can now go to the Hunter card and claim our rewards from there. Which means we're going to get ourselves... Ooh! Justice Knight. Okay. Not what I would immediately call an amazing hero. And okay, we've got a little bit, of, little bit of Bounty Hunter. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, we'll claim that. We'll claim this. Oh, of course. Each Zone of the Endless Trial gets you a little bit of something. You do get small boxes of genes. You also get a ton of um, advanced recruit devices as well for bringing up your stages in the Endless Trial. So don't forget to do that. If you want to get more heroes, get further in the Endless Trial. Okay, who do we grab? Who do we grab? Who do we grab? Punk guitar. Okay, she improves your team's dodge. Yep. Oh. Let's go! Our first combo hero. Shora killer. Nice. Carry on. What a pull, Shining Girl! Three S tiers! Three S tiers in one 10 bomb! Holy crap! Alrighty, folks, we've grinded through campaign up until the point where we have reached level 30, which is fantastic, because that means we can now go and make ourselves a guild. But before we do, we have another one of these packages that have come up. And we've decided that we're going to try and grab these to give us advanced recruit devices. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And I get this for reaching level 30 as well. So I bought the one at level 20. I got one for unlocking level 5 of campaign. And now I've got another one for reaching level 30. So I'm going to go ahead, grab this up, and get ourselves some more advanced recruit devices so we can push ahead in this event. And there we have it. More advanced recruit devices are ours. So first things first, let's go cash those in and see what we pick up. We have another S tier. Sergeant. Okay, one of the weaker S tiers in the game, but we got it nonetheless. Let's see if we can get anybody else. No, we didn't get anyone from that batch. That's okay, though. And we also have some basic summons to do. So I'm going to churn these out. And it's mainly for the C tier heroes. I want to show you a little trick that you can do with C tiers to massively improve your progress, which a lot of people don't know about. So if you're new, this should be pretty good. So if you go ahead to your heroes, scroll all the way down to your C tiers, you can go ahead and with Key Ninja, you can upgrade her into herself. So I'm going to evolve. She's going to become one star copper. Evolve again. She's now two star copper. And hopefully you've already cottoned on to what's about to happen. We're just going to give ourselves a five star copper hero using only C tier heroes, which can help us in the explore which is going to be super duper useful. And once she's in, I can do exactly the same thing, but with our B tiers. So if we back out, scroll down to the B tier heroes, we can also level those up too. So we have Key Pioneer, for example. I can evolve her. And you need C tiers to evolve her. So we're going to put them in. So there you go. That's one star. That's going to be two star. And by using these, we are just going to level up our heroes to five-star copper to help us in the explore. So let's go set up a legion for ourselves. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make a legion. So we're going to call this whales. And hopefully there's a big old fish that we can pop in on this. There was one fish, but I want to see if there's a whale. There isn't. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to make it white. And we're going to call the legion whales because it's funny. Um, or just Trevor. What do we want, guys? Trevor or Wales? I, actually, no, let's just call it Trevor. Trevor's funny. All in caps. Trevor. <laughs> Such a stupid name. All right, if you want to join Trevor, well, come join us. Apply. And to make ourselves have some progress, we can go to the dungeon and we can challenge the boss. You have one attempt every day, so I will just hopefully just one-shot this. I also need to improve my palace if I can by putting in some heroes and give this a little smack. So let's let's fight and see what happens. How much damage do we do? Here's Shurikella. Oh, we didn't do that much at all. Goodness me, they've got so much health. So this is a boss fight, all right? And we need to work together as a guild to take this down. And I don't think my team is going to be strong enough to do that. At least Healing Expert healed up our other healer who seems to have taken a considerable amount of damage. But yeah, we are staying alive for this, which is nice. That is not going to be a win. That is a shame. We didn't beat it, but we did deal a ton of damage to it, so someone else can come in here and finish it off. But to get someone else to come in here and finish it off, we need friends. So a lot of people have asked to join. We've got uh, we've got Jiggle, we've got Gagan, we've got Catbot, so you guys can all come in here. I will let you enter in. We've got Unknown as well. So folks watching here on Twitch, come and join us. It's just called Trevor. You can find us in here. Hopefully we can get some people joining in. And yeah. Until then though, let's uh, push forwards and make some more progress. So we've got some explore stuff to do. Now you might remember, I built all these heroes. So we can actually use those in the explore, which is going to be really handy. So even though they're C tiers and B tiers, because I made them 5 star copper, they can begin exploring. I think I'm going to re-enter campaign. We're going to clear the map. And we're just going to carry on and see how far we can do. And then we're going to check out some game modes, which we've unlocked in the challenge area. But first of all, I want to level up my team. So let's get cracking. So folks, we did push through campaign and we've managed to get to chapter 7, 10. And we lose to this boss fight. So we need to make our team more powerful. And that's going to be our primary objective. We do have a few things to cash in. We've managed to get to level 35. So we get some elves for our account. So that's going to be an immediate boost. So let's go ahead and open these. Now, an elf is someone you can equip to a hero that will give that hero bonuses. So I would like to give it to Hellsythe because I think she's going to be a pretty good early hero for us. And I need to go into the elf menu and I need to equip this to Hellsythe. So I need to press plus in this corner to give her a contract with Hellsythe. Now, there are plenty of other elves in the game and light and dark elves are the most powerful. But currently, I only have a wind elf, which is this one. So we're going to use this for now. But we will get more as we progress and we will move away from the non-light and dark elves. But as an early player, you kind of take every elf you can get. Now, we also have some friends, which we can go and accept. So a lot of people have finally made their way through to a level where they can add me as a friend, which is great to see. So thank you, everybody. Although I think I've reached my maximum number of friends. I will delete people at some point um, if people don't log in. But for now, let's just quick send out. And who knows? Maybe you can be our friend. Also, be our friend in the Legion. Let's see if people have managed to join this. We do have another person, Wox, who's decided to join us. And as more people join in, when they get to level 30, we'll accept you as well. So just come and find Trevor. That is the name of our guild, if you want to join us. And a cool thing, which I forgot to mention when I was talking about legions earlier, is when you spend 100 bucks, you can actually give gems to the people in your guild, which is a really nice way that free-to-play players can get given rewards for spenders spending. So that's really nice. And also there's the worship menu. If you can advance worship when your guild is full, because if everybody does that, that's perfect. But when your guild isn't full, if you can afford to, devout worshipping is probably the best way. Because at the moment, we really want to get this to 100 so we can get ourselves an advanced recruit device. Because as we've said many times, they're the best things you can get. And I also recommend you buy them every single day from the mall. Now, I also have some advanced recruit devices that we've managed to pick up. So I'm going to go ahead and use these and see how far we can get by just getting some S tier heroes, right? I want to try and upgrade our team if we can. What do we get? Oh, let's go. 
Vera! Now, she is one of my favorite heroes. She is insanely good, and it's not because she's got a massive gun, although I tell you that massive gun is terrifying because it deals a ton of damage and stuns opponents, and stun is so good. In fact, the stun is guaranteed. It's only one target, but man, is it consistent. So, oh, I freaking love Vera. I am, oh, I'm so torn. Do I add her to the team? Or do we stay with Shurikella? Oh, I've, I've, I've got to. I actually, I'm going to dismiss Shurikella, get all her stuff back. And I, I'm going to go for Vera. For, forget it. So I'm going to go to more dismiss. Oh, she's in explore, so I can't. But man, or oh, maybe I get, no, it's Stormwitch. Stormwitch gets the boot. Let's go. I bet you I can't dismiss her either. Oh, she's in the bio cabin. Mm, okay. Let me go check the bio cabin and see how far along that is. Because I could get away with this. Yeah, it's not that progressed. Oh, I'll, I'll cancel it. I'll cancel it. It's probably a dumb thing to do, but we are going to go ahead and if I can dismiss Stormwitch, this is perfect. Oh, I can. Good. So I'm going to get everything back. Nice. And we're going to go and level up Vera because Vera is easily one of my favorite heroes and it would be brilliant if we can build her. So let's get her in. Oh, and of course I have blue gear now, so I can try and get a matching set of blue gear. And I, I don't want to... Uh, do I want to improve her hit? Uh, I think I do. Unless she's guaranteed... Oh, she's guaranteed to stun, but I don't think she's guaranteed to hit. So we needed to make contact because we don't want to get dodged. So yeah, anything that buffs hit is going to be great. So let's just find some armor that does exactly that. It's going to be the champion armor. Champion. So if we can find it, that's great. We've got a few pieces there. And now we just need some champion boots. Uh, we got some. That's a full set of champion gear. Also, I'm going to put some more clothes on Vera. I don't think she's currently dressed for battle. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I I'm going to un unlock this and I'm, I'm going to let her wear that. That's far more appropriate um, ish. It's better than what she was wearing before. I mean, it's a little on the tight side, but that's that's fine. Yeah, th there you go. That's that'll do. <laughs> Now we need to do the lineup. So I'm going to go ahead and throw our team in. Maybe, just maybe, Vera's enough for us to win. So I'm going to switch to the rifle, which might be a stupid idea, but I think it's going to be good. My weeb is coming out. Stop. <laughs> Hello, Bug. How you doing, man? All right, let's, um, let's do this. So we're going to switch to rifle. And the only issue we have with rifle as an item is healing expert and gentle healer get buffed by this rather than our frontliners so we may find our frontliners are a little on the squishier side now but hey this might still be really good so let's see how this turns out it could be terrible it could be wonderful here we go so there's the combo attack so we've stunned that hero there that's nice pretty fun animation too all right I don't know if it's going to work, though. I don't know if it's going to be good. Oh, we might just lose this. Damn it. Yeah, we're gone. That bounty hunter's too strong. That's a shame. I think Catbot's right. We need to go into Battlefield and claim some rewards. Oh, Catbot, you just got Time Guardian, you lucky. And there's a cool little thing at the top where you can see what other people pick up. So Catbot just got Time Guardian, for example. Um, Time Guardian is my favorite hero in the game. Hands down. She is the best CC hero. And sure, killer? What are you doing, Catbot? Holy hell. Well, I think we should try and push the battlefield. Yeah, let's go. Or oh, Endless Trial. Hmm. Now, it's been a while since we tried Endless Trial, right? So I think we should try and push in here. Because we need to make some more progress. Oh, yeah. Look, we will be added Dark Shooter and Shura Killer to the lineup. So that's an instant improvement. It might be worth to remain with Katana Maya, though. And not run Dark Shooter. I, I don't know. I'm so on the fence about it because I, I love Dark Shooter's ability. We had a close chance to winning, actually. So, you know what? I'm actually going to put Shura Killer and Mysterious Girl together because that's good synergy like that, especially if it's a rifle Maya. And then Hellsate, then Dark Shooter. That feels good. It could go either way, though. Uh, I'm going to stick with this, and I think we're going to put in Healing Expert and skip the battles a few times and see how far we can get in the Endless Trial. This should be relatively easy, though. Now we're using a double healer team. Let's see how far we get. Still a win. Okay, and here's the boss fight. Ugh, this, this might be an L. It's risky. Oh, I failed. I'm going to resurrect again. 
Oh, wow. Even on a full heal, I can't beat this. <gasps> okay, I'm. I, what the heck am I losing to? What is going on? Oh, what? It's... It's the same bloody team! Oh my god. You know in Idle Heroes, right? When you think you're safe from a wave, and then the same wave comes along and bites you in the ass? Well, I've just found the wave I'm stuck on in campaign is also an endless trial. <laughs> oh, that's really, really funny. Okay. I think we're going to get dunked by this. I don't think I can progress. Yeah, I'm totally dead. <sighs> I need to go get some buffs. And that is not something I'm going to do today. I think, folks, we have fully hit our wall. And the highest level we have managed is 69, which uh, sucks. So I'm going to have to reset the wave, start from scratch, and be very, very sad. So the last thing we need to do today is push Battlefield to go ahead and see how far we can get our levels in this. Now, I don't know how high this is going to go. Our team's pretty solid. I, I, I'm skeptical about the Dark Shooter team. Oh, I just realized Dark Shooter's not upgraded as high as she could. I'm such a donor. I didn't evolve Dark Shooter. Oh my word. I bet you've been screaming at me to do this. All right, there we are. One last one or two, shall I say. And this'll be five-star Dark Shooter. Way better. Power level hugely increased. And... I want to do the same with Healing Expert. Let's go. Let's just evolve her up. And I think I can get as a Silver Star, actually. Because I should have a copy of Healing Expert. I absolutely have a copy. I have two copies, so I can use one here as food. That's nice. And then I'm going to pop in you, and you, and I'll easily get myself a Silver Star hero. Oh yeah. That is going to be a Silver Tier Healing Expert. Beautiful. That's just a huge improvement for the team. Very nice. Oh, I'm so dumb. Right, let's claim our explore reward. We'll claim our loot. And we have some target missions. That's nice. Ooh, hello. That's for doing endless trial. Of course. Yeah, nice. And we also get some breakthrough skills from here. Perfect. And does that mean the storage is going to tell me I've got something? How are my jeans looking? Mm, no, I don't have anyone fully made yet. All right, okay. So I'm going to switch across now back to the battlefield. And let's try and grind through this as far and as hard as we can go. I'm going to skip battle. Let's do this. Well, it looks like level 69 is the bane of my life. And it's this hero right here. And she's level 63. When this hero is level 63, she... Well, well, she's probably stronger than my whole team. She hits the entire team as well. So I need a way to counter this hero. And I think the answer is CC. I need a crowd control hero, which I currently don't have. I need a way of breaking through this. So I'm going to need to improve my team. And I think that's just going to come over time. Simulated alpha is something I'm going to swing and attack at, but I don't really care how I perform. So I am just going to skip the battle. I will start fine tuning for simulated alpha at some point in the future. But I think right now I can get away with just using a double healer team and just getting naturally good damage by doing that. Um, I will just skip the fight. I don't even have a god, so that could be one issue for us. Uh, where does that put me on the leaderboard? I'm 33rd, so just by smashing there was pretty good. And I'm just going to claim some rewards for doing that. And I'm just going to say that that was okay. And we'll see what happens in the future, because I have a whole day to figure out what else I'm going to be doing on here. And I think we need to just grind through. So is there anything left to do? We have 10 advanced recruit devices, which will drop in. Will we get a hero? Nope. And I think everything else we can do on day one and day two, funnily enough, is done. Unless I want to go ahead and whale to spend a ton of money. And the other thing we've got to worry about is the team. And I'm going to need multiple copies of people if I'm going to advance them. The only hero I know I can go and get multiple copies of is Hellscythe, and that's because I got one from here, and I'll get another one when our rebate gets to this level, when it gets to level four. That's another Hellscythe, but I don't want to spend just to get another Hellscythe copy just yet. I might just pick one up naturally, so I think for now I'm just going to leave it, and who knows, maybe I'll naturally boost this up. There are some things we can consider for purchasing, and that is 
primarily the secret treasury, which you can go click here. So I'll just claim all, all gems from there. And I can unlock this. Uh, it only costs me uh, 98, and that's going to get you a ton of diamonds. You get so many. But obviously, it only pays out if you've gone further. So this is kind of like the diamond fund in Idle Heroes. You don't need to grab this straight away. There are other things we can go ahead and purchase. Same things that are these... Uh, these secret funds but for now I think I'm good and I'm gonna leave it there so folks the team has come quite an interesting way sure killer dark shooter we got a few other heroes we can take a look at and I will fine-tune this team a little later on but for now I'm happy with where we are and I feel like that's been a pretty good first day so folks if you want to keep up to date with this series hit that subscribe button and if you want to join us on Angel Legion, this is just the first week. This is a brand new server. So join us at Android Server 43. And I'd love to see you here. And you can come join our Legion. And hopefully we can get that nice and filled up with folks here on YouTube. Do keep in touch at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump. And you can download this game for iOS, Android, and it's also available on Steam. See you next time, folks. Happy idling.